Would you like to visit Liguria in Italy? In this video you'll find information about top attractions, local food, events and tips. Liguria is a region in the northwestern part of Italy where you can find the so-called Italian Riviera, a narrow coastal street between the sea and the mountains. It is a place to go if you'd like to spend time on the seaside in the north of Italy. Indeed, here, in just a couple of hours from Milan, you can find crystalline waters and breathtaking panoramas. Cinque Terre, a coastal area that comprehends five old fishermen villages, Monte Rosso, Vernazza, Corniglia, Manarola and Rio Maggiore. Indeed, Cinque Terre means five lands. This area offers breathtaking views, is only accessible by train as its territory lies narrowly between the sea and the mountains. The most visited village is Monte Rosso, as it's the biggest and the one with the largest beach. The Azure Trail walking path connects all the five villages. Its most famous section is called Love Walk and goes from Rio Maggiore to Manarola. It was closed due to landslides and will reopen in 2023. Genoa. The capital of Liguria is a big city that stretches out for 27 kilometers. It hosts the most important port of Italy and its whole city center was nominated UNESCO Heritage Site, especially its Carrugi, small and narrow alleys that can be compared to a labyrinth. The main attraction of Genoa is the aquarium, the biggest in Europe, with 71 tanks and 800 fish species. Genoa was the hometown of the explorer Christopher Columbus and here you can visit the house he lived in between 1455 and 1370. Particularly pleasant is the Nervi Promenade on the outskirts of the city, a rocky path that once brought fishermen and farmers to the sea. Portofino, a picturesque village on the bay, famous for its harbour and the many international celebrities that used to come here for their holidays. Tall colored houses stand in a semicircle on the main square, and you can see from afar the Mediterranean scrub and olive trees on the mountains behind. San Fruttuoso, a tiny village only accessible by feet or by sea, dominated by an abbey built in the 10th century and by the Doria Tower, built to defend the town from pirates. Closeness to nature, the deep blue of the water, and an almost total absence of noise make San Fruttuoso a mystical place. Its most curious attraction is the Christ of the Abyss, a bronze statue 15 meters down the sea. Coastal towns. Liguria abounds of pretty little towns on the beach to chill out and enjoy the Dolce Vita. The best five are Porto Venere, a charming village overlooking the Gulf of the Poets. Lerici, dominated by a massive medieval castle. Alassio, the pearl of the western part of Liguria. Camogli, known for the multicolored buildings on its seafront, and Santa Margherita Ligure, full of walking trails and outdoor activities. Liguria is one of the major producers of Italian extra virgin olive oil. Indeed, oil is the protagonist of many recipes, like the notorious focaccia, a flat oven-baked bread similar in texture to pizza. An even tastier version is the recco focaccia, prepared with stracchino cheese. Both Liguria and Tuscany claim the invention of farinata, made with chickpea flour, water, salt and oil. A must try food in Liguria is pesto sauce, prepared by mashing in a mortar basil, pine nuts, garlic, parmesan cheese and olive oil. You must match it with trofie, a short, thin and twisted pasta from this area. To fully appreciate the beauty of Liguria, I would suggest you to visit during summer, so you will be able to spend many hours on the beach. If you'd like to combine your trip with a popular local event, know that each 24th of June, Genoa celebrates its patron saint, Saint John the Baptist, with events and concerts in the streets waiting for the traditional midnight bonfire. The same celebration happens in the town of Monte Rosso in Cinque Terre. In Italy we'd say that Ligurians are very stingy. The historical reason is that this region was very rich, in particular the city of Genoa with its many banks. In 1585 there was a war between England and Spain and Genoa decided to help build Spain's fleet, offering them 130 vessels and about 25,000 soldiers. 
England won and Liguria was completely ruined and never got back to the state of luxury it used to have. That's when Ligurians started to save money and stopped lending it to others. If you would like to know more about Liguria, we will leave you some useful links in the description below. Are you interested in other Italian regions? Check out our playlist Where to go in Italy and let us know in the comments what other Italian region you would like to discover next. Thank <music> you.